Hey YouTube, bit of a drift from backdrop for you today. I'm actually, I bought these this time on my way out fishing. So we're in the boot of the car. But I thought as I'm waiting for the tide to come in, let's have a look at this month's magazines. So I'll see you in a sec. going to start with this week this month rather on the April editions of grow your own and kitchen garden magazine we're going to start with grow your own magazine I have cursory look over the uh, the front of the packet apparently this magazine is worth 43 pounds 10 packets of seeds in a magazine, 43 pounds. I don't know. I don't know. I think in that uh, that worth mark that they put on the front, I think a lot of it is, um, the value is the vouchers inside, which are only valuable if it's something you want to buy. But Right, let's get straight on with what, you, what it is you guys want to see. I have to try and keep some semblance of order today, otherwise things are just going to end up everywhere. So, I'll start at the back. Coriander seeds. Radish. Flamboyant three. March through to July. Cucumber. Masterpiece. March to April. Now is that? Give me a sec. Yeah, that's an outdoor variety. Spring onion, Pompeii. I wanted some more of those, so that's good. Salad leaf, fancy summer's mix. Don't do mixed salads. Another packet of Primo cabbage. That'll go. Packet of fennel. Tempted. I keep keep saying I'm going to grow fennel. I might give it a go. Although, from speaking to people that have grown it in the past, the main problem with growing fennel is if you don't get it all out, it can you can end up with a lot of fennel. Then we've got some lemon balm. A lot of these are going to be going in the giveaway box. Then we've got some green, point that's really showing it in front of that one, some green calabrese, so broccoli. And then we've got Money maker tomatoes. I think good selection for a new allotment holder and a very relevant to time of year selection. For me, not that good. I think, apart from the Pompeii onions, all of those are going to be given away. Quick look at the magazine Ultimate Guide to Tomatoes, Jobs to Do Now, Crops in Pots which I know is, is a big thing at the moment and it's something that I would love to do uh, a video series on, but I think it might be a little bit too late this year. Don't know, I'm going to have a read of that article and we'll, we'll see. It might not be. If it is, it'll be uh, a see. If, if I'm not too late, it'll be a series that's coming up soon because um, it is something that I really would like to focus on. I know for a lot of, lot of new growers out there that have just come to the hobby because of lockdown. Um... So your bonus seed broccoli romanesco. I didn't get broccoli romanesco. I got calabrese. So that's not to a good start. That's not off to a good start. But I'm quite happy with the calabrese actually. And yeah, I think I did mention in the I did just talk about in the seed sowing video. I did say that um, romanesco was a cauliflower. Uh, and whilst it is sold as a cauliflower, I do believe it is actually a broccoli, or more more closely related to a broccoli. It's not a bad magazine this month. The article on tomatoes will be useful for a lot of people. So look at kitchen garden. Straight on with the bits that you guys all want to see. That's handy. 
That might be good actually. Salary, Green Utah. Really worth growing actually. I do recommend giving celery a go. Radish, White Icicle. Turnip, Purple Top Milan. Fennel. And Hardy Annuals, Tall Cut Flower Mix. Then I'm going to find somewhere to sell them. Both magazines have come, I believe, with 10 packets of seeds. So that was five. And then there's another packet here. So tomato, money maker. Calabrese, green sprouting. It's busy down here today. Beet leaf, perpetual spinach. Something that I might experiment with. Some basil. And some silver skin onions. These are Paris. So in actual fact, when it comes to the seeds, actually, there's not much between them this year, this month. So it's going to come down to the magazines. For the seeds, the only thing edging it out on the seeds for me is the, uh, the flower seeds, the celery, because I forgot to get some celery seeds this year. I was hoping I still had some of the pink blush left, but I didn't find it in my seed salt out, because uh, that was a really nice celery. But anyway, I digress. And see, Kitchen Garden have done the same sort of thing as well. Um, patio pickings, 20 crops for tiny plots. Sowing advice to kickstart your season. Bring on the bees, planting for pollinators. That is something that as gardeners, we should all be conscious of trying to do. I think a small flower bed, wild flower bed, any sort of flower bed, even if it's just a borage bed, I think it's something that we can all do to help the bees and help the environment. Making a pallet potting bench. Nice, nice. That is something that I do want to get done, so that's not a bad idea. And DIY crop covers. So based, I mean, based just on the cover, for me, once again, it'd be kitchen garden. I think the the, um, the patio pickings, the DIY projects, the promotion of, of bees. And generally, the way that kitchen garden is laid out. Once again, if I was, as I always do, if I was to make a suggestion this month, I think kitchen garden, we need to start running a tally, don't we? But I think Kitchen Garden would have it again for me this month. Without, actually, yeah, without a doubt, Kitchen Garden. Whilst Grow Your Own does have a couple of good articles in it, I think Kitchen Garden is better for me this month. So another short video for you. I'm not going to waffle on any longer than that. I'm going to remind you that I do try and get these done every month and I try and get them out as early as I can. Do go and check out my other videos. There's some cards that appear at the end of the video. And please remember, if you're not already, to click on subscribe. Click that like button or that dislike button. But I challenge you, if you click that dislike button, to let me know what you disliked. If, if, you've got, so if there's something that I've done that you don't like, I can't change this. But if there's something in the video that I've done that you don't like, something in the editing, something in the presentation, if there's some information that I missed off that you would have liked and you, you feel as though you want to click that dislike button, click it. But let me know in the comments below. I can't fix it for you if you don't tell me. Please don't tell me on Facebook. I don't sign into that account regularly enough. Um, in fact, I don't sign into any Facebook account regularly enough, really. Um, but please let me know on the YouTube comments below the video. Um, if you're not already signed up to YouTube, it takes two seconds and it is completely free. And it opens up the doorway to loads of content creators. So please do click like, click subscribe, 
click the bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload. I don't spam you with uploads. Um, if there's something that I could do to improve, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you later.